unmuted. Let's make sure I'm unmuted now. Okay, I'm unmuted and I'm recording. So you guys, I'm doing this video really quickly because I asked a question this morning. Some things are happening to me in my reality. I'm not sure how to make sense of. And the message yesterday was kind of like not what I expected, right? And then it went into like the twin flame thing. And I'm like asking spirit, like, why? What, what does this mean? Was I mistaken? You know, and when I do that, I tend to get an answer. Um, and then immediately, this was basically the answer I received. So I'm going to share with you this video that I'm currently watching um, that caused a huge reaction within me too as I was watching it. It is very relevant and it makes so much sense. And it's basically what I was trying to say yesterday. I um, mean, that I've been saying for like a long time, right? So I'm going to play some of this video for you. Okay. The spiritual conduit. So I'm going to rewind it. Okay. So today, question from the community board is Can we learn more about why we all have this karma to clear? And was this something from past? lives of the twins so those are the first two questions from this kind of car i will tell you like i've never cared about a twin flame thing i never have until my life forced me to um it's very real so just pay attention to what she says she talks about a lot of things and i'm like oh my gosh she's spot on she mentions all the souls that we've cleared um that i've told you guys about over this past whole year or two that i've done amongst others right so just this is really cool so i'm just going to let it play and listen to what she has to say and then i'll also post the link to the video i don't know how far i'll go into it but it's very validating so i'll go until i feel the need to stop um but here you go from uh, the karmic conundrum so let's have a look but first off you know what i get as a theme doing these readings understanding the twin journey meditating going to source for these answers these are exactly the kinds of things that i ask the divine to show me i take my own consciousness into my own hands and i seek that divine guidance so any of these questions that are coming up for you all this is a really valuable thing to remember is if you have these questions take it to the divine ask to be shown ask to see these things firsthand but what i have understood is that it's not a punishment that we have these karmas to clear. It's part of this cosmic evolution. I don't want to go into too much of the backstory, but the cosmology that seems to make sense is that this is the way of worlds becoming ascended throughout the galaxy. We have these histories, you know, the Orions, the Lyrans, the Arcturians, the Pleiadians and us it's our turn to go up through the ascension status and so as we that are excites me. <laughs> unifying she's so right on <laughs> as a global people this brings a new template of relationship that is both a product and a promise for the future a product of the old template and the necessity for change and a becoming uh, an artifact that we'll look back on and see that we have transferred from an old paradigm to a new one. At this now moment, we are ascending, we are becoming globalized, we are becoming a level one, a one world civilization. We're eliminating war and segregation on the planet. And so we're doing that on the nuclear level with relationships as well. So it's not so much that we are clearing this karma but we are witnessing the karmic patterns of past generations by necessity falling away as a product of the becoming, the ascended world that we are anchoring, that we are designing, that we are navigating, negotiating with our fellow humanity. It just looks like this. So we're going from the instability waveforms in karmic relationships with all that static to a more harmonized 
augmented, more spiritual, more peaceful template as a new building block for societies. Our consciousness is raising, so we no longer want the karmic things, so now we can see them because we're able. We're designing new ways of relating because the old didn't work. Yay! There's a whole <laughs> new set of criteria for Sorry. our global becoming. And those can unstable <laughs> home situations no longer lend themselves to ascended consciousness. Amen. The longevity Amen. of the planet, survival of the human species. It is exactly like a caterpillar going into the chrysalis and becoming the butterfly. The imaginal cells that form inside of the chrysalis is like the new twin template. It's a new DNA. A, a new, new twin template. It makes so much sense. Structure, nuclear structure that creates a new expression. It's so exciting. Sorry. Okay, so that's why we need to clear the karma because this is a natural process. We witness it as clearing the karma, but it is more of an observation than anything that we have to put too much effort into. We're just saying no to things that don't resonate as appropriate and yes to things that do systematically. This makes so much it's sense. flowing through <laughs> us. And if we witness it for what it is, it gives us great peace because it's the only eventual destiny to streamline this. We have passed the ascension markers and we're coming through it. And this is how it looks unfolding. A mantra lately that's come to me is this is what mastery looks like unfolding. Watching all the changes, yes! watching the things manifesting in our own lives in the 3D and how that beautiful clearing is allowing us to come together more crystalline, oh. more harmonized, more loving. This warms my heart so, so much. So it's not that we as individuals have done anything wrong. And yes, <laughs> all the past lives, our genealogy, all the barbaric energies on the planet, they didn't work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were negative. Mm -hmm. And we are slowly, slowly getting there. Fighting. Like, Something what's that, that I don't talk Why? about often is the spiritual um, historical texts and references that come to mind on this journey. One of them is, is this the Holy is Bible. Important. It talks about family curses. I want to say the karmas, the dysfunctions in family lines. It takes 10 generations for a family curse to work its way out of the family line. Unless we go straight to the divine to be shown how to change that. We can always go straight to the divine, but the straight interesting thing is, apparently astrologically on the great conjunction in December of last year Same from the solstice, Listen with Jupiter this. and Saturn aligning, 800 years of familiar karma was released globally. And so Shasta. all of us became free from these kinds of things. All of our eyes are being opened right now to what works and doesn't work. And so not just the twins are reinventing, but the twins are the specialists <clears throat> that have cared about love, the existence of love, have set our whole hearts on fire to persevere until the end in the name of love. We're the ones who believe in it. That is what qualifies us. And yes, it could be luck of the draw, but we are the chosen ones because we have chosen to do so. There's a lot of information. So like literally, I, I knew that I had a task. Like I've always known this, right? And like you can never like quite put your finger on it. And what do they always say? Ask the right questions. This morning, I asked a very layered question. Like I tried to cover all bases, <laughs> very much so. And this was the video I got. This is extremely validating, extremely <clears throat> everything that I thought. 
end is she matches everything I've done. Like it's, 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 it's crazy validating everything that she is saying. I, it's, I'm like, ah, I was supposed to be at my other job. Apparently that's a no go. <laughs> anyway, let's listen. Information. One of the other things that's coming to me is the idea of the 144,000. I truly believe that that is a threshold template. No. Thank you. So there is somebody out there that talks about the 144,000 and they're the warriors. They're the ones taken out the devil. And it's very interesting to me. Um, but I always felt like that was like a negative. And this is a much better way to put it. Number by which numbers of people need to believe in things in order for the hive mind, the collective of humanity, to suddenly have the thought populated into the collective consciousness. And that's what they used to do this against you. Twin Flames become household names last year. We saw it explode across the internet in a new way. Almost everyone has heard of Twin Flames now because it's been so popularized. And that's because enough of us set that standard of the perfection templates, the righteousness coming back into authentic love connection. And so you can see it's changing from the inside out. So it's not so much we've been punished by the karmas, but we are collectively as a twin collective, we are working the karmic puzzles. We have signed up for it. Mm -hmm. We have been called many of us, even myself from a very young age, consciously crying out to believe in love, to be shown, petitioning the divine to say, show me love. And so this journey has <laughs> been interesting, but it all works together. There's a river of life that th flows through generations and is rolling out through all of us. It's coming through us. We are a conduit. We're a condu conduit of our ancestors and for our next generations. This is the legacy. This is the spiritual conduit of aliveness and life in this free will universe. We are emotional navigators. We're here to remember unconditional love. And it may not play out yes. always in every generation. Fully. That's what I said. Our planet swung far out into barbaric energies. Hell yeah. Through cataclysms and struggle and strife on the planet. And the big picture keeps getting bigger. There are so many factors involved with why this planet has been so sacred and why it has been so unique and why it has had struggles over the eons. But this is the lifetime where we have come through the markers of ascension. The legends hold that it has been four starts of humanity that have failed at this stage and that we are the first to actually bring Gaia through it and so it's a sacred honor. oh my gosh so I have to tell you why she's saying that that my workshop yesterday was very interesting as she's saying this is that we brought Gaia through it so this workshop was again more than I thought it was going to be we ended up like setting it into its like axis um and then like creating the Lumerian crystalline grid and the new earth and that's and so look up Lumeria that I brought it for we brought it forth yesterday and so it's very interesting what went through with that and we're finishing that today and what she's saying and the questions I asked and this twin flame thing and knowing that there was unfinished business which there still is and it's just very interesting so we're all feeling something with this. It's, it's so cool. I'm so thankful for having answers, right? Like all you have to do is ask and then what happens? Honor to witness this at this time on the planet. This is the lifetime that we are moving from segregation into wholeness and we're pulling it off. <laughs> and so it's a guaranteed becoming that we should come into union in new perfected love templates new templates and that this is the lifetime where that is beginning to be established as a new norm makes me so warm and fuzzy inside <laughs> like, one of the things that's come through in private readings today which is a massive energy is that the divine has said that every true twin couple like-minded individuals on this journey that are true twins 
will all come together to have a reconciling conversation very important right now by which all things will be laid to bear between the two and 1000% mutual agreement will be found whether to move forward in romantic relationship or not just their choice and that if a particular twin couple decides not to and they need to decide that there will be 1000% peace <laughs> And between the individuals choice. because it will be that justified which decision to make or not and so we're not meant to look at union but meant to come into the accountability it would take to have that conversation i love this I'm just gonna leave that there <laughs> and go into the next oh, bit like, this is what i feel you guys that part takes my breath away like that that is my answer that was every bit of every answer I needed right there. I couldn't, I couldn't put it together all the way. Uh, yeah. Has needed to come through in way of channeling regarding the twin flame karma clearing. <laughs> ah, one last That's thing nuts. that was meant to come is that the particular karmas that each set of twins clears you are the divine specialists co-creating with the divine you are the yes. appointed specialist so there was for something each of with those this. particular karmas there are various different karmic templates and collections of twin you guys so i could actually see this i was able to see this on the outside that's what i didn't understand it's like what there's something we have to come together to clear oh my god like this is <laughs> okay i'll shut up that would come in and work on those particular karmic puzzles and as we clear the karmas, we're born into extraordinary lives, unusual lives, particular lives, with just the right time space coordinates to work collective <gasps> dysfunctional patterns and unlock unconditional love into those. Oh my God, this so is that like we can massively bigger than I thought. Give humanity the permission to see them for what they are through the lens of suffering and to bring them into more productive and enlightened modes of being. Yeah. I wanted to say that as an added bit because it goes with what was said before and it wasn't brought through clearly enough before. So how can we come to the finish line and release karma so that our twin can be brought back to us by doing the work on the karma that we are facing? Those things that oh are God. karma for each of the twin collective um, pairs makes so much sense. are exactly the things that feel like deal breakers or reasons why union between you and your twin cannot happen. Whatever the societal too different energy is that needs to be bridged, that's your karmic puzzle as your partnership with your twin relates. So work on those belief structures in yourself to overcome the fear that you would not be able to come into union with somebody like your twin under those circumstances. Ask the divine to show you what the highest frequency antidote oh or God. remedy thought would be for whatever the conditionality is that you feel is limiting your ability to come into union as twins. And that is your karmic puzzle to work. As you do that, it is hand in hand with your mission, with your confidence, with your empowerment, with your worthiness to channel through the wisdom that the divine gives you. As you become a torchbearer, a light bearer in an increased way upon those themes, you will find there is a gentle flow of it, an authentic flow of it, a sovereign flow of it. And with the quantum entanglement, it gives your twin equal permission to be doing the same karmic processing on their side of the energy. When enough makes me all warm and fuzzy. Both twins, <laughs> the process of coming into closer and closer proximity and alignment has already long since begun. And then it's revealed when it is beneficial for some of these 
reunions and reconciliations to come in. Even, you know, regardless of if you've been in a romantic relationship or not with your twin, if you have not been in a relationship with your twin, you can still have reconciliation because it's a reconciliation of a soul, of your soul coming in. We could look at it as though it's been past lives. Mm -hmm. There are infinite variations Definitely that is. could be had in this, but it's about refining to the point of consciousness whereby there can be true autonomy and true sovereignty. That true analogy love. of the scuba diving gear with the main lines of on. oxygen to the divine for each and each having a self-contained life support system in order to go to the depths of the love to the depths of the ocean of emotion mm -hmm. or to the heights you know an astronaut <laughs> the say, ocean being able emotion. to have that your own oxygen your own connection to source to I like to the pinnacle of <laughs> peak experiences as a sovereign being don't know her never seen her before this is the most precise exploration because our twin is the one that equally mirrors that sovereignty in just the right way oh my gosh so you will never be returned to your twin in a way that you lose yourself <laughs> and the more sovereign you become the more adept you are at intimacy and true safety coming in closer and closer and closer into the realms of that's what i said intimacy. yesterday basically so we're not brought back in oh my god energetically gosh. if there's too I've much static, trust too much unhealed my own messages stuff floating around in our energetic atmosphere that haze is a repellent it does not allow for haze intimacy right haze as we become sovereign that static energy dissipates and our true polarized charge clarifies and we're able to be drawn nearer it's all energy okay my dear twins let's get into the reading so i have actually shuffled quite a few decks so i'm going to stop it there like this was my answers to the every bit of every question i asked this moment ago and then i received this and then i was pushed to share it and again, I was supposed to go to this job where I was contemplating going back to RBT. Like, holy crap, like shit's getting real. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Like, it's like a movie. It is so very much so like, like, is this really happening? Like I was looking at the message I did yesterday and she just covered it all. And I'm like, was this real? Like, ugh, I love moments like that. Okay. Um, so there you go. I will post the link to this video underneath and you can finish watching it. This was every bit of info I needed. Um, and I'm sure some of you did as well. <sighs> I'm going to get ready for day two now of my workshop today. Um, and apparently uh, looking for another job. <laughs> <clears throat> I can't breathe. Okay. So much love. Bye-bye.